<laughs> All right. Thank you for coming. My my other camera is not working, so you don't see my face for a minute. Let's see. Maybe I can try again. There you go for one minute. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Just like um this is very simple recipe, but we have to talk about the types of lentils. So yeah. I think what you are calling yellow lentils are the big, uh -huh. big ones, yeah? Like this? Well, they're not big. Let me show you one of them. So look at this one. It's not big. And it is, um, they say split ones because as you can see, one half. In the U.S., we call these yellow split peas. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. But the rest of the world, that's, yeah, anyway. So, what made you decide to do this recipe? Well, this is one of my favorites, uh, and it's um, and one of the easy ones that you actually have almost every week in Iran. So, uh, I thought maybe it's a good idea to make it, because it's a very traditional Persian dish. And um, it is actually delicious. <laughs> and how do you pronounce it? Uh, these ones we say lape, the the uh, lentils, like the split lentils. Right, but the name of the dish. Game. Game. Yes, it's very good. Yeah, actually, it's a, it was a very good pr pronunciation. It's a it's a stew because in Iran we we usually have rice with some kind of stew. There are so many different kinds of stew. So one of one is this one is a, one we call gourmet sabzi and it's made with uh, some vegetables. Another with eggplant. So almost every day you have rice and then you mix it with something else, which are different stews. Okay. And this one is pretty common, as I said, like almost every week. At least each family would have it. And so this is just, let's see, ingredients, yellow split pea, onions, uh -huh. pea, potato, uh -huh. tomato sauce, and spices. Now, Well, if you want to make it vegetarian. Uh, otherwise, uh, we usually add some kind of uh, meat. Uh, doesn't matter. I put beef usually or, or um, uh, lamb. But uh, other kinds of meats are also uh, acceptable. Now, do you do ground meat or chunks or what is preferred? Chunks. I do with chunks. Yeah. Okay. That's, so. as I said, traditionally, it's made like that. Okay. But what? some people also like to use the ground beef and make uh, like uh, little meatballs and add it to it. That is also okay. delicious and nice. Yeah. But always, always bigger pieces, not just for flavor. It's for... That's yeah, it should texture. be inside. It should be seen okay. <laughs> inside the stew. All right, okay. let's get cooking. Let's start, yeah. So I have my chickpeas now washed and ready to go. Okay. Did I say chickpeas? Sorry, I meant uh, the lentils there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the yellow ones. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I called it like that. And uh, I have... And uh, onions, may I show you? Let's okay. Yeah. Let's... How much of the of the lentils do we need? Well, it depends how much you want to make. Uh, so for each person, I would add half a cup. So or or one third of a cup, because when you cook it, it will be looking more. And, and I have you um, always wash on... them. Uh, I do, I do. I don't uh, mm, think they're like but because there are some kind of dust around them i don't know i prefer to wash them so i need to talk more about proportions because you're saying a third to a half a cup because we're starting mm -hmm. from scratch so our we're not they're not yes yes you're right you're right and i have to yeah. think about so i have a pound and a half of stew meat i don't know what that is in kilos uh-huh it's not even a so, you just need a very small amount much, per person. yeah exactly you just uh very small pieces for each person actually mine is very very small maybe this less is actually than, uh, surprisingly dirty look how dirty that is 
Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Let me get let me get on the lentils. Okay. You have to cut up onions. Yeah. Okay. We start with the cutting the onions. Now you you just rinse the lentils. You don't soak them, right? Yeah, I just uh, I you can. Some people actually do, and they say it's better because uh, you know it, it's better for health. It's better cooking, but I didn't. I actually just wash them, and I'm going to like go ahead and use them. So I have, as you can see. Uh, too big or oh my uh, onions no good look at that that's rotten oh sure sorry you have to change them yeah it's perfect oh, on have... the outside but look in the middle it's completely ew that's horrible this is what um so i have to show you my lentils they look a lot smaller than look how tiny mine are oh yeah i know what they are they they are not the same as mine and we we make other dishes with them we call them daladas they really look like the brown lentils you know, okay, so, so yeah. I think I, yeah, those are the red, lent red, red lentils that cook very quickly into smooths. You know, they so fall apart. That's what you have, right? But these, these still feel kind of small. Yeah, it is a small, yes, but it is thicker, right? It's bigger than the red lentils, yeah. And yeah, this and yeah, this is this is the doll. Well, yeah, that is the doll. Lentils. In, exactly. Indy, right? Yeah. So the well, okay, but but I don't even have a half a cup. Well, that'll be enough for you. Okay. You just need yeah, a third let's try them. Just uh huh, and you can just uh, uh, use less uh, uh, less meat and just do a porch for one person. You cut the onions very, very small or just? Um, I prefer small, but it is not a mandatory thing. Okay. Could I start the pot going for warming it up? Because we are doing the onions for taste or I guess we don't need texture because you'll have the potatoes no they will be yeah they will be for just making the meat smell and taste better and also for the sauce that i make for in in the middle of the cooking so All right. they're not yeah it is not something for making it beautiful so i put it inside my pot Is, is your meat always fresh or because here we get a lot of frozen meat? No, I'm using the frozen meat uh, here as, as well. We do not get fresh meat easily. So I'm using the frozen one. Not that we don't get it. It's like hard to go to the shopping every time and get right. fresh meat. And I'm lazy. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just them. got back from Cuba and all the meat is fresh. They never... Ah, interesting. I didn't know that. At least everything I saw, it's just they they butcher and you cook like immediately. Wow. Cool. Oh. But there's not very much of it too. So Ah, okay. It's something luxurious, maybe. Yeah. So, so what so do we have in the pan right now? Is it just the onions? Yeah. Okay. And have we turned so the I pan? Put... Well, do I have to put oil no? Oh, yeah, yeah. I will add the oil. So now I'm, there is no flame yet. I just, I'm just okay. adding the onion. Using the yeah, pot I as think... a bowl, yeah. And is that what and you can use this doing? Is that pot or are you going to go move to a bigger? Just no, one. that is enough for me. Uh, I'm adding the meat there. But, but for the lentils, I prefer to cook them separately. So I use two uh, pots actually. If that's. Okay. And how much lentils are you making? Just out of curiosity. Okay, so can... here. This is mine. So it's not too much either. 
What yeah. is that about a cup? Uh, it, it's a it's a uh, bowl, small bowl. Yeah. Uh, as I said, for each person, I have put a uh, half a cup. Switch pots. So use this one for onions and the other one. So you cook the onions and the, I mean, the meat and the lentils separately. I will add them uh, together later, but yes, at the beginning, yes. Okay. So this onion is ready because uh, I put, uh, as, I, as you saw, three onions. One I will keep for the sauce, as I said, and uh, two little ones uh, I'm using for cooking the meat. So I just, I'm going to start it here. So I'll start the flame. Oops. I add some oil. You have a oil preference? Um, no, you. I usually put um, ola, uh, olive or um, what's the other plant that we use? Um, the the one with the flower, the the sunflower one. Okay. Yeah. So you. Do you just have yes. the onion in there, not the meat yet? Right? Yes, just the onion, and here is the oil I'm going to to add. Okay. You have a good camera person. <laughs> he says hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I put okay. Okay. I put the onions to be fried and then I go to do other stuff. Okay. I, now I, I I started, yes, the, the flame for the onions. So just oil and onions, and they are going to be cooked. I put another pot now for my lentils. And I put also a little bit of oil. I think that's the first time I got an onion that the whole inside of it was bad. <laughs> bad luck. And it looked perfect. Or, on or the outside. maybe. But yeah, you know, sometimes it happens. I've seen that too. That really surprised. Good thing I got more than one onion. Sometimes yeah. you you buy something you're... for a recipe and you only buy for the recipe, and then you're like, oh. Yeah, onions are not one of those because usually whatever you're making, onions are a handful. I don't think I've ever bought just one onion. My English is declining so much after I started to learn Italian. So let's see, a little oil for the lentils? Yep, because I just uh, steered them a couple of minutes and then I will add water, hot water or just water. I have such a little counter here. Question they do what? Not I have not much space. Ah, oh, I see. Do you try to fry the lentils in the oil to get flavor or mm, 
to make them uh, become a little bit harder because if you don't do that when you cook them then they will be um they will be uh how do you say smush smush yeah smash yeah. i don't know they will uh, not so hold their texture yeah exactly that's why i want to uh, fry them a little bit so that they keep their texture Um, so yeah. how are you cooking the lentils? You you did you boil water? Right now, uh, frying them. No, I I just uh, washed them as you remember. Yeah. Now I'm uh, uh, I'm frying very little amount of time, just to make them keep their own texture, so do not be uh, sm uh smashed or I don't know the word uh, yeah. afterwards, smashed. Yeah, something like that. So you're frying and it in some oil yeah a little bit and mm -hmm. then i will add some water or if you want you can add hot water i'm just adding normal water so i will let them boil together later okay oh yeah i have my i have my electric kettle i can warm up for water that will good that is, that is good yeah make it be a little faster I have a solar system on my house, so I try to cook with as much electric as I can. So free oh, interesting. So let's see. Oh, where's my can opener? So. Do we add the spices to the lentils while it's frying? Uh, no, to the meat, actually. I have, uh, but not all of them. So I have my uh, cinnamon. I will add the cardamom if I want at the very, very end step. Uh, some people add uh, dried lemon, which I, it was hard for me to find it here in Italy. So I just uh, skipped that. And if you guys have it, it's it's nice to add them. So you don't uh, add uh, liquid lemon only if you have dry yeah. lemon. No, dried lemons are like kind of different. They are very, very sour when they are fresh. So we buy them and then we uh, uh, we put a little bit hot water on them. And after they're soaked, we add that to the stew. Um, here, as I said, I don't have them. So I uh, just add a little bit to fresh uh, uh, lemon juice. Never. I'm trying to think if I ever have seen dried lemon. Ah, maybe you've seen it in some kind of Arabic countries because we call them uh, lemon from Amman, which is the the capital of um, Jordan. So, so I think there it comes from there because that's why our people call it lemon from Amman. So I wonder if I squeeze a lemon and I just save that part of lemon, it will dry. No, no, no. They do it, uh, the whole lemon. Like they put, oh. I think, in, yeah, yeah. Well, take, that would it, take a long time if you had to dry a lemon with the juice inside of it. Exactly, exactly. That is the um, whole procedure for doing that. That what, That's what happens to all of my lemons in my house is I wind up not using them. So I have these dried lemons. Oh, there you go, man. <laughs> okay, you're the fanciest of all, us all. You have it. So, so now I'm supposed to what? Crush it and put hot water on it? Well, um, make sure that they are not bitter because if they're very, very dry and neat, uh, maybe they make your uh, stew. Um... <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Sorry <still> for my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to make sure they're good. Yeah, but if they are still good, yes, put uh, a, a glass and put uh, them inside and uh, leave them for a while. And then uh, if they're good, yeah. All right, My camer cameraman wants to uh, be included in the in the cooking. He's waving at me to, to come and steer the onions. He's like, they're burning, they're burning. <laughs> It's so cute. Yeah, we recently yeah. had uh someone from an Peru cook with us with her mother. 
And her mother uh-huh. kept saying, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I just yeah. checked on Amazon and you can buy dried lemon slices on Amazon. Slices or the whole one? These are slices. Yeah. It looks like, well, maybe. Yeah, I don't think nope. they're the same thing. Well, I think you can buy them whole also. Yeah, I usually like Suzanne have like a lemon I forgot and it just sits on the counter and it dries up. But I actually recently for a recipe and I I actually ground it into a powder. Oh, yes, that is nice. That is how sometimes we do it. Good. So I added the meat, which you guys are following. And then I my onions are very brown, so add the meat, yeah. Yeah. And how brown do you want your onions? Uh, it's golden actually, not very brown. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So I have no seasonings in this, just onions and frying meat. Uh, for now, yes, I'm going to add them in a while. Just a second, I. Get rid of these extra lentils. Okay. So let's see. In spice list, it says turmeric, ginger, saffron. I can't find. Okay. Cinnamon, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. But you also said you can put cardamom. Yeah. At the at the end, uh, it makes it like much better. I like it. Anyway, it's not mandatory. The mandatory ones are turmeric and uh, lemon juice. And I think cinnamon. Cinnamon is very important. So actually, you can also add a little curry if you want to make the meat taste better. It's up to you. So I add uh, some of this. Then turmeric. If you want to see how much I'm adding, you can see here like that much. I have a luck of having local ginger and turmeric, but it's because it's fresh local, it's really actually ginger is also very, very good if you want to add it. Fresh ginger or powdered? Powder. Both are good. Oh, oh. Because I have fresh. Oh, and... Good, just just cut a, bit, a, a couple of slices and add it. it. It's very nice. Oh, nice. So what are the lentils looking like when they're? Uh-huh. My lentils are here and they are, I think, ready to be added. So I'm going to add the water to make want, it boil and be ready. I think you so. said you wanted the lentils the same the same texture. In the U.S., we usually cook them until there is no, it doesn't look like lentils. It just looks like yellow soup. I know, I know. I've seen, and actually there are different kinds of lentils, uh, like uh, these ones. Some of them become like that very fast. Some of them you need to cook much. And are we using ground cardamom? Uh, or the cardamom seeds? Uh, okay, as I said, you can use whichever you want. I'm going to use these seeds. So, so I have You're the whole using the powder. I have the whole one. Oh, the whole. And I'm going to cut them and put the seeds inside. I can even uh, grind them if you want. Oh, this so smells so to... good with that cinnamon and black pepper. Oh, yeah. So let's eat some of the cinnamon as well. Do not put too much cinnamon because otherwise uh, your stew will look... Uh, the color will uh, not be good. It kind of becomes brown, which it shouldn't. It should be like uh, orange or reddish. So. Yeah, I 
need to, I think, add a little more turmeric. When the the meat cell uh, changes its color, like becomes a uh, kind of cooked from outside, we can add uh, hot water and let it start to cook by itself. Okay, so when the meat is nice and fried, then you add water to it to make like a gravy. Exactly. So. I think in my case, it's almost ready to go, yeah. So you never, you don't cook the lentils together with it? I will later. They are now cooking on the, by themselves. So lentils separately, my meat separately, as you can see. So I leave them to cook together uh, later. So, okay, I put this so that it starts to cook, and I put this so that that's cooking, and I go for the uh, other sauce. So I will uh, I will cut the other onion to to fry it with the tomato paste and make uh, some kind of paste, and I can also start to. Fry not now actually, but uh, cut the um, um, the uh, potatoes to make to add at the end because I will fry them as well some some uh, potatoes. Do you never fry the potatoes with the onions? I mean, uh, with the meat. <sighs> No, because then they will be soft. I like them some kind of crunchy and on top of the stew. So now I'm cutting these onions for, for that. And I'm so lazy. I got these kinds of uh, potatoes. So that <laughs> I don't need to cut potatoes. They are cut already? Yeah, they are there for making French fries. Oh, okay. You just need to fry them to make French fries. So <laughs> that's how lazy I am. Okay, so my onions are ready, but okay, so here's my meat. How how big a piece is do, should it be? That that is good. That is good. Or you can make it uh, because it's uh, kind of uh, uh, thin. It's not very thick. So I think three four pieces of that would make it. And that's right. per, per serving, because um, yeah. I'm making it, it a lot. It depends on you. Yeah, because if you are, if you I'm want making to a eat lot a, more. Oh, if you're making a lot, I thought you said you don't have much uh, lentils. So if you're making a lot, then uh, yeah, uh, so put I as found, much as you think. It's the color is not going to be right. I found green lentils, and I'm doing two cups of green lentils. So I'm I decided because I have so much ingredients that I can make a lot and then share it. Okay, family. okay. That's a good idea, actually. So, yeah, go ahead. And as I uh, said, I never did it with green uh, split lentils. So you are going to tell us how it tastes because it would be your invention. <laughs> okay. I, have to, I have to redo my lentils because I just burned them. <laughs> oh, I didn't try. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, that's okay. Yeah, this is what they look like now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought I thought, oh, what's that smelling sound? It smells kind of good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. We'll put that so now we're making a sauce with the tomatoes paste. Yes, yes. Um so not yet, but yeah. The water is for me. I'm I'm thirsty. <laughs> I like this where we can make it so the lentils will have texture because I ate so much lentils or split pea soup when I was growing up. That it was uh -huh. always bushy and like, I don't know, I don't like this. I'm like, 
It's good for babies, but not for me. I see. Yeah, I don't like them you know, smushed as well. I want to see them. I want like the. Uh, I don't know if you uh, you uh, sent that picture of the Reme of I don't know where you find it in the group, but uh, if you go and see and like just search it online, you can see that uh, the lentils are like this. They are they're visible. Yeah. Inside yeah, if you want yeah. lentils that will hold their uh, shape, you want to look for French green lentils. Well, this not for, not for, but not for this recipe. Not for that recipe. I just mean in general. If you're looking for uh, uh, the I see. lentils, the only, one, to... the only one that holds its shape very well that you have to cook it forever before it starts softening. So I have a question. I I threw mm -hmm. my meat in. And what am I adding to that? How much cinnamon? Uh, to, oh, wait a minute. To, you to, mainly oh, want to put uh, lots Okay, of, you you can put a half a uh, half a, a teaspoon or uh, what do you call these? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, here. Okay, so I put one of these spoons, yeah. half of it. Okay. Uh, cinnamon. Or the and... size you're making, because I'm going to probably double it or more. Okay, so you put a full spoon. Yeah, yeah. probably. Good, okay. good, good. But and you then want to what put else? more turmeric than you put c cinnamon. Oh, I, I put more. Yeah, I put uh, turmeric, uh, black, uh, black pepper, and also uh, salt. Uh, so I put... Uh, Salt, it depends on your meat. You know how much you add salt to make your meat. And for turmeric, I put almost double of the cinnamon. Okay. Okay, got it. Well, you, you, you said to make sure that it's more yellow than black. Yeah, exactly. I don't want my uh, stew to look brown. I want it to look, because of the tomato sauce, looks orangish and you know reddish, not uh, brownish. <laughs> So okay, I may so I add a little bit. This. Do I start frying this next onion? And uh, not okay, yet. So let me, I uh, because I want the the meat to start to be uh, cooked. So that's the <laughs> the thing about Persian cooking. Uh, you need to make them cook a lot. Like Persians love to keep the do on the oven for a long time so here my uh, my meat is cooking and i will add the tomato sauce after the meat is cooked so it's not the time yet and my uh, lentils are kind of soft now i think i think i can uh, add them to the meat but I will wait a little bit. All right. Okay, so what is this you're adding? Ah, you're you're starting to boil your your lentils, is that it? You said add the lentil to the meat, yeah. Ah, you did add it. So your meat was cooked. Yeah. Good. Okay. Mine is not yet, so I'm waiting a little bit. Yeah, I, I love this. I have a induction cooker. It's and it cooks so fast. Ah, nice. Good for you. Trying to get all the lentils. Okay, let's see. Don't waste any. Oh, my kitchen smells so good. <laughs> good. I'm happy to hear. I'm glad I ate something before we cooked. Otherwise, I'd be like dying now. <laughs> That's funny. So, um. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just brown in the meat and then is it going to get braised? Because mine's a stew meat. So it's got to cook for a long time. I mean, like you said, it's it's a stew. So, uh-huh. so yeah. So I'm brown in the meat now, but then is it going to get liquid on it and then slow cooked for a while? Yes. Then it is, when outside the meat is cooked. Yeah. So you can add uh, the, and, and you added also the um, spices. Yeah. Then you will add some water. If you want, you can add hot water to so make it uh, faster, but or normal water. Maybe and that's start why to. Oh, because you added the hot water. Yes, right. Yep, I had. And then. My nice. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> okay. So you add it and you put the lid on it and you leave it for cooking a little bit. And then after a while, you add the lentils. I think when it is like boiling and it's nice. Let me see mine. So see. Do you want to make sure the lentils are fried <laughs> so that they hold the texture longer? Otherwise, you'll uh-huh. end up with lentil soup instead of. Exactly. That's true. So here, my uh, I love that meat. Idea. Mm-hmm. My yes. meat and uh, onions and the spices are here. Okay. So mm-hmm. after a while, yeah, after a while that I see that the meat is kind of softer and better cooked, I will add these, make sure the lentils, to that. And then I let them cook again together. And while they're cooking, I make the sauce. Okay. But there's not enough flavor. Yeah. We have to make a sauce too. Huh? It's like- uh, well, the, the tomato pay, uh, sauce makes it... Uh, look very nice and orange i am using these ones like the the paste the thick one i love in europe they put it in the tube so here we come in this little can and it's such a pain in the to get the i know to get it yeah yeah wow. i, I don't the like tube, them either you never waste any i love it that's true that's true okay so now I'm uh, oh, meanwhile I'm gets it out and then put a little hot water and try to get the last out of the bottom. Always and uh huh yeah yeah you have to add hot water do some tricks to something to get those yeah I know it's hard. So okay, so now I am getting my uh, cardamom, and as I said, if you have saffron because. We add it. So if you have saffron, you can add it. Otherwise, don't bother. So you uh, want the, the, the cardamom seeds, right? I'm going to grind mine for the for the very last part of this cooking, not now. But uh, since you have the seeds and I have to peel it to make the seeds, I have to be... Can, can you show bit... us how you peel it? Because I've never seen... Uh, yeah, I just crack it. See? I crack the uh, the peel. And then the seeds come out. Yeah, that's so I show you the seeds now. Okay. Oops. Oh, this is looking good. Yeah, these are the seeds. I think I mine I have more water in it than yours, my lentils. But... No, they will they will cook better. Like you you leave them to be cooked. Now, did you put the uh, lid on yours while you're cooking yours? Uh, yes, yes, the lid should be on. Well, you're not going to reduce liquid if you put a, a lid That's on. That's true. Though. I need to reduce it a little bit. So, all right. Okay. That's funny. All other spices, I have the whole seed, but. Not cardamom, uh-huh. ground cardamom, and I have this, the seed. Once I use up okay. this ground cardamom, I will only use the seeds. I have found that it's always yeah, Actually, some people only use the powder. Yeah, you know, the easiest one is the powder. So I'm adding these seeds, my seeds. Oh, to wait. This. I have I have whole cardamom. But look, I've ah, never cool. used it. Nice. Now I can crack all right, I'm going to try to open it up. I have to take us back to um, the lentils. 
Am I adding the lentils to the meat or does that, do uh -huh. I add water to the lentils? Good. So when you're they're frying, you're, you're, you're frying up the lentils and then adding a little water after you've kind of fried them up. Oh, so I add yeah. from the meat. Okay. Well, once okay, the meat is well cooked, you add the lentils to it. All right. Also, in the Middle East, they quite often may put cardamom in their coffee. Oh, yeah, Ooh, I've never seen that. Cool. That sounds good. I have to start doing it. There we go. Man, there's a lot of seeds in this little pod. In mine? No, I in mine. Oh, okay. Do not okay. put too much cardamom in your uh, stew or it will just taste like something else. I think I need to turn it down. Because you're just trying to slow cook it, I think, right? Exactly. That's how we like it in Persia. Yeah, in Los Angeles, because we have a large Persian population, you can get all of these special foods. Do you ever use anything with the, the skin of the seed? No, I never use that skin. I don't know if anybody does. The, the, the good thing they have is if you want not to put the whole seeds inside your whatever, like tea or whatever, you just crack very little uh, the the seed and you put it in your tea and whatever and then you can get rid of it it's like it's like cinnamon um uh the bark you know the the piece yeah. so you can later uh take it out that is otherwise i don't think they they are used for something Okay, my cardamom is smelling so good. I love the smell of cardamom. But yeah, like you yeah. said, it's very strong. Yeah. All right, I think I need to cover that up okay, now. Okay, I put it here yep. so that I also grind a little bit of saffron. Do you have a hard time in Italy finding saffron? No, actually, I can easily find them in supermarkets. Saffron is not hard to find. Uh, because I think they bring it from Spain. Yeah, they grow it in Spain a lot. Yeah, that's why it's not hard to get them. Oops. Actually, this one that I'm using is from uh, from home. So it is, <laughs> as you can see, the writings, it's Persian. But uh, yeah, it's easy to get uh, saffron from supermarket here in Italy. So this, to me, this seems like cold weather soup, but you said in, I don't think of Iran as a place that is cold. Is it cold there? Oh, of course there are. The, uh, the west side of uh, Iran, is usually very cold and also northwest like we have uh tabriz which is uh in the winter they always have snowing we have kurdistan that oh, okay. uh, it is very cold yeah 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 i like when i learn something <laughs> so, <laughs> nice so, so we're grinding the cardamom and the um saffron yeah okay I got my saffron from uh, the Indian store. So oh, it's nice. Good, good. Good. Keep turning mine down because it's my lentils. They're boiling uh -huh. very well. Oh, because your, your stove is apparently better than ours. Okay. I under this wood, I have gas stove, but I haven't used it in one year now. I bought this for my birthday one year ago. My birthday is January. Ah, so okay. I've, yeah, me too. I remember I we had, but I used the oven, your birthday. but uh -huh. the gas stopped. 
I right. I, yeah, mine covers two burners also, and I've never used, I hardly ever use any of the burners at all <laughs> since I got my induction top. I never thought I would be a convert to one type of. But... It's so easy to control the heat and to go from high to low. Yeah. Or low to high. Especially and, from high to low. I mean, just my experience, I feel like it cooks like 20% faster. So Yeah, it's very efficient. It's All very right. Efficient. So for the sauce, we need to heat up oil. Um, not yet. So oh, because because I want this to be cooked together for for a while and uh, make the the smells and the you know, the, to blend in, to to get their uh, smell to each other, to put their smell into each other's uh, flavor. And then you make the tomato sauce fresh? Yeah. Okay. So I can add this uh, oil as you want and wait a little bit. And then I add the onions and tomato paste. But for now, I will wait a little bit. So so you okay. added the lentil mixture into the meat mixture. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When when the meat is cooked, then I will add the because I think the lentil needs to be uh, cooked a little less. So mm -hmm. I keep them um, boiling a little bit and then I uh, turn it off. But the meat is still cooking, cooking. When it's cooked, then I will add the lentils so that they do not um, uh, lose their texture. So you want the meat to be well cooked before you add the lentils. Yeah, yeah. So that I do not, uh, as you said, make a soup. There you go. Mine, mine. I think is finished. Okay. The lentils are. You sure? Yeah. I tasted okay, the lentils, can... and they're. Ah, cooked. they're. Oh, if they are, let's start the sauce. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I will. So let's do this. Okay. That's pretty easy. I start this. Okay. And over here. Then the onions. So for this the tomato sauce, you we just have oil and uh -huh. some onions. onions, yes. Oh, I need to turn the temperature up. There we go. And this is where we will fry the potatoes also. Uh, I fry the potatoes uh, on their own. Like I, I make like French fries. It's just French fries being added to the uh, to the stew at the end. Like the, you, you serve the stew, you put the um, French fries around it to make it uh, more delicious and nice. So it's not okay. cooked with anything else. You just want them like, well, also the texture of the French fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It depends on you, but I like them crunchy. Okay. All um, right. Onions are frying. Good. Oh, you're so fast. I just added my onions and yours is already frying. No, they're not nice. done, but yeah, they're frying. Good. So since you did that, I will do something else. I will instead of well, you can also instead of frying your um, your potatoes, you can uh, use the air fryer if you don't want to use too much oil because they will become kind of the same. Okay, one uh, trick that I have exactly is after I grind it. I put a little bit of hot water on it and I will leave it for a while. This makes the color of saffron and the flavor to come out much better. Can you say that again? Yes, I said one trick I have with the, with the saffron is that as you can see, I grind it, okay? So this is the saffron I added to this thing and I grinded it to make it powder. And then I will add a little bit of um, hot water. So if I add the hot water in that, 
uh, and I leave it for a while. It causes the flavors and the smell of the saffron and the color comes out to the water. And then I add it to whatever I want. Like if I want to add it to rice, if I add it to uh, stew, it makes, uh, it, it makes your saffron to do its job much better. Okay. And that, and in that you put the cardamoms ground as well? The, sea, the cardamom I, seeds in I, there? I put the cardamom when my stew is almost ready. Like five minutes before I, before I turn it off, I add the cardamom because I don't want it to be cooked. I want just to add the flavor. Okay. Yeah. So he's making a sauce now, so I need another pan of onions frying. Uh, um, I after I added my uh, lens, uh, let me show you. So after I added my lentils to the to the pot to the meat, uh -huh. I still had the, this one. So I'm yeah, uh, adding onions to fry and then add the tomato paste. So uh, I'm using my this other pan that I was just using. If you like the same idea, you can do it. So here I add my hot water to the to this saffron tea no <laughs> <laughs> kind That's of right so yeah and then i put uh, some i will do this mix it a little bit and then i add some like a plate or something on top of it so that it uh uh, kind of steam cook itself so Steeping. yeah yeah because yeah because it's uh, it, it makes the uh takes the, the flavor and the taste come out of the saffron and the color also yeah okay now i have my onion being fried ready to add the tomato paste later so how well do you want the onions fried before you add the tomato paste? I want them gold like the one when I add the meat. Okay. So nice they're and better cold. they're they're nice and cooked. Yes, they're nice. Now could we have cooked the like two onions together and then separated it and used one for meat and one for sauce later or Yeah, you can. Um yeah, not not a problem if you um because then you have to turn it off and on because uh, you saw that there was a time gap between us making this and the uh, that yeah. onions so if we don't mind yeah it should be fine i think my meat has a long way to go i haven't even started the 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 doll the uh lentils oh, well, because we because you want to just make sure that they are cooked well, so you well, can add it later. It's stew meat, so in order for that to be edible, it's got to cook Brava! <laughs> you are a good cook. You are a good cook. You know when to add things and when not to do that. <laughs> no, the lentils right. are just on hold. They're nice and toasted, though. It's kind of cool. They got a little bit of a an aroma to them. Uh-huh. So I'm interested to see how it's going to taste. And I'm real fascinated with this sauce that you're making with the, uh, so you're basically really almost caramelizing the onions, which is a great flavor. Yes. And then adding the tomato paste will make it much um, better. And you know, uh, the, the onions that you make for the sauce, if you can add, if you don't mind to add more uh, oil to make them be better fried, it's it's even better. Some people do not like to use too much oil, so they say, "No, nah, I don't like that." But if you do that, then uh, the the color and the taste of the tomato paste comes out much better, and it makes it better. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's really fun is to to like thinly slice this, throw a little bit of oil on it, and roast it in the oven. Yeah. Stirring it a Ooh, couple of times. Oh, roasted in the ah, oh, that is also another good idea. Yeah, but I haven't figured out how to get the neat juices off this big, huge cookie. You know, like sheet pan, because it it all that caramelization mm -hmm. still on the pan, and I'm like, 
not quite maybe just a little bit of broth or something and just pour a little of... water on it while it's hot and that heat will cut yeah loosen it i do that with you know they they call it what deglazing a pan yep so you mm. pour a little in there that's what we did with the meat earlier is we brown the meat but it also the juices burnt in the bottom of the pan a little bit and then you added water yeah yep yep Okay, so I'm going to get to chopping. Yep. I think or added the uh, tomato paste. The yeah. to to too soon. Yeah, because I see your onions are still white. But I don't know. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> They're black. Because look at mine. Look at mine. I, I didn't add any um, spices, and you see the color. Yeah. And I'm still not adding the tomato paste because I want this to be, as she said, um, caramelized, caramelized and yeah. yeah, flavored. Yeah, when I saute on my induction burner, I got it at like seven or seven and a half for saute. Well, I've turned seven it down and seven four because I had it at seven, Fred. And they're very, very golden. All right. The paste and the onions are mixed together well now. Good. So I think my onions are now ready. I'm going to add some things. Oops. Oh, I still have some lemon juice I forgot to put in there. Where are you? Not when? yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. I make sure everything is in front of me, then I don't forget something. Well, that's a good and I always, strategy. I still forget something. So. <laughs> okay, that may happen. out for a minute. Try some potatoes. Okay. I too was lazy. I made big, big potatoes. They're thin sliced, but they're not French fried. But come on, separate. Yeah. Uh, what else is in the tomato paste? Nothing. If you want a little bit salt and pepper, okay. But nothing else. Okay, got it. Thanks. It's interesting to me how many cultures, you know, burn things for flavor. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's a free free way of adding flavor to food. I mean, uh -huh. we call it different things, but basically, we're burning, burning onions, or. But that that's a little different. Caramelizing onion has to do with a sweetness thing. You're not burning it. What you're talking about that's... when you burn something is a char. So like meats or a right. piece of fat will, you know, have a char to it, which is a burnt. But you're not burning your onions, you're caramelizing them. It's And you're trying to do yeah, the same the with heaven... the tomato paste, really. I mean, you're... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's very true, but it really causes the color and the flavor to come out. So... 
even if it is burning it, I don't mind. I do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I add my paste that I just made to my stew. Just look how suddenly it changes the color and makes it reddish and uh, nice orange. Yeah. Yeah. Just get the last bit out. There we go. Okay. Exactly. I can now add half of my saffron also. If you don't have it, just don't mind. I like the color because it makes it more reddish orangish. Let's see. You had saffron and something else mixed together, no? Uh no, this was water, like hot water. You remember oh. I added and I said, yep. Oh yeah, the cardamom is separate. Yeah, that's for very last bit. And I will add also a little bit of uh, lemon juice. As I said, if you had the uh, the dried lemons, you could add them now, but I don't. And is are they chopped? What When you have the dried lemon, what form does it take when you add it? Uh, I just put some, uh, because they are round and they're like uh, the whole... Uh, lemon uh, and it's dried you add with a with a fork some uh, holes in it and you just add it so then you can bring it out of the stew just for leave them there to give their flavor to the stew and then throw it away or some people like to eat it i don't just put the dried lemon while it's cooking yeah 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 so that it gives that flavor to the, to the stew and then you take it out okay I think I have added all the things I needed. Now, if you are making a real nice stew, you just uh, put the flame down to a, uh, and leave it cook for as long as possible. Like the longer, the better. That's what we Persians say. All right. Okay. That is many layers of flavor there. <laughs> Yeah, they, they really go well together. So how long will you let that cook before you, you, you think it's ready? Like minimum. <laughs> yeah, as I said, Persians sometimes one hour, two hours, like they just live there. Uh, so so your, your doll won't get, I mean, your uh, lentils won't get overcooked? Uh, my, uh, well, yeah. That's why you need to have it separate so people know that uh, they add it uh, like half an hour or or um, 40 minutes before the, the meat is ready, ready. So as I, if I leave it for long now, yes, it will be overcooked. Although I fried it, so it takes longer for it to, to do that. It's not like normal, uh, normal one. But right. yes, you're right. If you want to do that, to yeah. leave it for two hours to cook, you have to add the lentils later. Now, are you cooking the lentils in the in the stew water, or are you cooking... right now? Yes. Or do you literally cook them in a separate pot? We just we just kind of toasted them a little bit. Uh huh. So we first to toasted it. Then we add hot water and leave it to cook a little bit so that they are a little bit softer. Then when my, my meat is ready, I add them and I leave them to uh, boil together like half an hour together so that they give the, each other their flavor. Okay. But uh, uh, if you want to keep your stew cooked for a for longer time and become more delicious, uh, as Persians say, like longer, better, then you have to add them later so you uh you do not cook anymore the the lentils but you leave the meat to be cooked for long and then you add it so mine mine it hold held all the texture and and right now it's just barely uh -huh. simmering i have like almost the temperature off 
And okay. So it looks like but it will hold do you have it. enough water in it? Yeah. Like. Yep. But okay. Good. But it's not good. liquidy, but it has, you know, everything but the top is still water. So. Okay, because for us, there should be a little bit of uh, water inside. Like it shouldn't be dry, dry. So okay. it should be not like a soup, but there should be some uh, some water inside it. Yeah. Uh, do you serve this over rice, comma? Exactly. So you but put you the rice. The, you want the liquid for the rice uh -huh. to soak up, yeah. Exactly. So uh -huh. you put the rice and you put a couple of spoons of this on top of it and then uh, you mix it and you eat it. And as I said, uh, to put it uh, on top of it to make it beautiful, you can also fry some uh, uh, potatoes and uh, put next to it. Can I share a picture maybe of... Uh, because I want to show you like when it is uh, what, what, what? ready. When it's finished, maybe you can put on a plate and take a uh -huh. picture and send it to us. And I'll, that is I'll, a good I'll idea. Post, I'll post it on the recipe page. Nice, yeah. nice. That, now, that so the be only great. thing now left is like five minutes before you serve, you add the cardamom. That's very true. That's true. And uh, whenever it is uh, for serving, you add your fried potatoes on top of it. So... Uh, let's me. So, how long does the lemon juice get cooked with it and the saffron? I thought that was a last minute thing, too. Yes, that's true. Uh, so, you shouldn't leave them uh, boil a lot because they will lose their um, flavor. Uh, usually, 15, half an hour before just making it done, it's the, the maximum. Like, you shouldn't add it before. Okay. So at most 15 or half an hour. 15 minutes or half an hour. Good deal. Anybody else have any questions? Oh, yeah. What kind of rice do you use? Usually we use basmati. A white or yes. a brown or? White. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The white is very common there. And we also have the mm, rices that are grown in Iran, like the Persian Iranian uh, rices uh, that are uh, made, uh, not made, cultivated, that are cultivated in the north of Iran. Um, but here that I don't have that, I usually use basmati rice. Uh, the, the rice that's grown there, what shape is it? How long is it or? The grain of the I, the, I the, the what? What does the Persian rice look like? Ah, uh, so we have it dry, like it's not like the um, steam cooked that are sticky together. Uh, we have it like the the grains should be separated from each other, and um, we usually make it cooked for uh, steam cook for long so that there is a crust at the bottom of the pot. So it looks like, yes, we love that uh, rice rice crust. Uh, in the houses, children usually fight over it. They they love the <laughs> that crust of, yeah. I but don't the rice, want to open the rice... this up to let the moisture out, but I'll show you the just real quick before we uh -huh. go. Look at how colorful. Ooh, that's yeah, cool. that's nice. How much water is like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the water dripping down back in. Yeah. So right now it's almost... It's barely, barely cooking. You can hear it just a little bit. So, oh, there you go. So the, so the okay. rice, the type of the type of rice that you would have, is it a long grain or a short grain? A, a I prefer the long ones, but if you don't have, yeah, yeah, usually we use the the long ones. We we like that mm -hmm. ones, the Indian ones, the the one. So uh, the the picture mm -hmm. I am sh sharing, if you mm -hmm. see, yeah, you see yeah. the rice how it should look. See, the grains are separated. We put sometimes some uh, saffron on top, so it's mm -hmm. yellow and nice. This is the stew, and after there, it is cooked. And you see the the whole lemons in it, right? No, oh, I this is, I thought they yeah. were potatoes. Yeah, yeah, and then the potatoes that they just put on top of it to make it uh, look nice and uh, mm -hmm. delicious. And these lemons, if people do not like it, they can just throw it away. 
but some people just eat it as well. So this is the color that I wanted it. That's why I said do not put too much uh, cinnamon in because it makes it brownish. This is the color I like we prefer. And uh, yeah, and you saw that and that's why I wanted you to see this. Yeah. So how can I now get it off? <laughs> I don't know how to get it. Okay, stop shift. That's true. <laughs> oh, well, well okay. Done. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Do you have any final? Thank words? you, guys. This is yeah. This I wanted to use this simple. and I forgot. It is very funny because I had this. Oh, here it is. Shoot. It's funny. How did I forget that? Because I wanted to do it, but just a second. Because it would be a pity if I don't use it. Okay. <laughs> How many months did it take for that to get to you? Like well, it was weeks. a long time. Yeah, it yeah. was a long time. But I finally got it. That was from it, when so you I'm cooked so the first it. time. Thank you very yes. much. For Thank you. I am very happy to cook with you guys. It was a uh, lot of fun. It is always. And hope to see you soon again. Thank you. Uh-huh.